Hey guys, what's up? It's Connor Mitchell from Dragon Rider Network, and today I'm here talking about a new product that just came out from Canon and was announced only a few hours ago, which is the Canon Rebel T4i DSLR, much like the one I'm recording on right now, which is the T3i, but the next generation of their DSLR cameras. Decided to do this video by having the microphone directly in front of me to try and get some new type of audio techniques into this video. Wanted to record it uh, really quickly so that way I could get some of the details in and get you guys informed on this new camera. So anyway, let's get started. So the new Canon Rebel T4i or 650D if you're over in Europe basically came out about two days ago and was announced from or maybe it was yesterday, but I was only informed about it uh, today, or about a few hours ago. And basically what this camera now has to offer is a wide variety of new features that are exclusively new for DSLR cameras. First of all, one of the biggest things that I see for the T4i is the fact that it now has a touchscreen. This is the very first touchscreen DSLR camera to enter the market. This allows you to swipe through photo and photo, it allows you to change settings, it allows you to change the exposure, and if you actually pinch in and out of a photo, you can get a zoom in or zoom out feature, much like you can on the iPhone. So that is a very big plus for Canon already, and a very big leap from where they were for the T2i or even the T3i. The next big thing is that they have a CMOS hybrid sensor, and what the hybrid means is that this is not only like part DSLR sensor, but it's also an autofocus sensor. So when you're taking photos, it can autofocus to help you get the perfect shot every time, and it can even have a tracking focus on video, which obviously Obviously, as many DSLR uh, filmmakers know, is pretty much impossible to get on a DSLR camera. And that's what I kind of learned the hard way when I got the T3i. But when I started using the T3i more and more, it wasn't that important to me. However, this though, for newcomers to DSLRs from old camcorders or cameras like the Canon PowerShot, which I had formerly used, this will be a very big feature for those people going over to a DSLR. Some of the new hardware features that have been updated on the T4i is that now there is a completely dedicated switch for video mode right on the camera. So instead of turning the knob until you get to the video dial, you now have your very own video switch and you can go between effects and settings in between it. Also what's new in hardware is that they actually now have new lenses for the Canon T4i. An 18 to 135 lens and a new pancake 40 millimeter lens at f2.8. The pancake lens is incredibly thin and I think it's about this big from how uh, it's represented in the photo so it is a very very thin lens and I'm not sure if it works for the Canon T3i and is reverse compatible or backwards compatible but if it is, it would definitely be something worth looking at uh, for someone like me, especially since the fact that it's only about $199. So the new Canon T4i is available body only for $850, and with the kit lens, the 18-55 lens, it is available for $950. If you get it with the brand new 18 to 135 millimeter lens, it will kick you up to about $1,200, and when you get it in that case, you will then get a very good DSLR lens and a very good DSLR camera to use for filming. I honestly see this as a really big step up from the previous DSLR cameras. Like, obviously, the step from the T2i to the T3i, the biggest change was, in fact, the screen. And to me, that was enough to go out and get it. But these... For somebody who owns a T3i, may not be the best to upgrade to because they are great, but depending on what your needs are, they would probably already be met by like a pocket camera, much like the Canon SX230. But if you're somebody who still owns a T2i, this would definitely be a great camera to upgrade to because the T2i at this point will most likely be most likely be coming off the shelf, but the T3i will be sticking around for those of you who want to grab a really sweet bargain DSLR camera. 
So anyway, guys, that's about it for this video. Be sure to check out uh, the links below for my website, my YouTube channel, my Facebook, my Twitter, all that stuff in the links below. And I will catch you guys at the next video. Talk to you then.